I'm Ned Elliott and I previously studied history at Bristol before coming to the drawing year. So my artistic practice draws on the general experience of existence, which I think by that I mean I think about not only how I exist in the world but how other things exist in the world, whether they're inanimate objects or also animate, whether like an animal or like even like a rock or whatever, or seaweed or butterflies like here. I use a variety of materials, mostly it's drawing centred but I do like using watercolour and etching as well is very fun I think using sheen clay allows me to quickly change the images and that's exciting but yeah it's about the flow of life, life and death whether you're a seaweed or a human. I decided to apply to the drawing year because I'd never been to art school before but I'd always been drawing ever since I was very small and I guess there came a point during the sort of coronavirus period, but also working in an art shop where I think I was pushing myself more and more with materials, but got to a point where it felt like there needed to be a sort of injection of something. Studying on the drawing year has affected my practice in innumerable ways, basically. I think the main thing is just the sort of sheer amount of time to experiment, and that's meant that you've just come out with a lot of different ways of working, a lot of different like approaches to materials, but also like the quality of just drawing from life. I think that's one of the biggest things as well. Or just observational drawing and not drawing from photos. I think I always used to draw from photos and now when I look at my past work I feel like there's a slightly like static thing that's in those. So I think drawing from life is something that's really special and important I really encourage other people to do. But in turn not being totally strict to that observation that I mix it with like imagination and I'm not beholden to the object in front of me. I think that's one thing. Don't feel too precious about a lot of drawings. Don't be certain that this drawing is going to be the best one or like this is one I really have to try hard on. Be willing to experiment. Just be free to do what you want and I think don't feel like you have to put yourself in any box or anything like that. I think generally I found the tutors quite encouraging that I didn't have to like pursue a particular path. I think I had apprehensions about the influence of tutors and I was worried that they'd take away from my innate voice. I don't think they did so that was a pretty great surprise is that I feel like just the ultimate sort of mush of all the teachers and their different ideas allowed for like a personal growth. I think I was very blessed with my year group which was very like cohesive and just yeah met a lot of great people who I hope I will be friends with for a long time and also very talented artists who I could ask for help and suggestions and feel like there was always constructive feedback available and that's definitely something I miss in a way in not being in the shared studio anymore but also all the different tutors are very welcoming and there's not necessarily a sort of hierarchical structure I'd say which is good I feel like you can talk to the tutors on quite a like easy going level whilst also sort of knowing that they might have some wise suggestions. If you're thinking of applying to the drawing year, I'd say don't hesitate. And if you have apprehensions, and I did have a lot of apprehensions about art school, having not gone to art school, I'd say just go for it because you're not going to lose anything by applying. I've learnt so much. It's been extremely fruitful. I'm so happy with all the people I've met. Yeah, just go for it. And it doesn't matter that you didn't go to art school. <laughs>